rest of your last shot at South Carolina. What are you going to bring uh, this Saturday? Uh, I definitely think we just play within the game plan and definitely try to uh, exploit the offense and, you know, just everybody plays their part. We'll definitely get a win. What have you seen from them on film? I've seen the team that uh, the switch, you know, offense, you know, they've been working, trying to mix around guys and trying to get a feel for where they're going and defense. I feel like they've just been playing pretty good well. But I just think we do our part, play as Georgia, we'll win. Is it an advantage to you that, you know, Connor Mitch is out, or is it a disadvantage that you don't know exactly what you're getting in the quarterback position? Uh, I feel like either way, both guys are capable of playing the quarterback position, so I feel like it really didn't make too big a difference, in my opinion. They're both good quarterbacks. Well, how do you defend a Pharaoh Cooper lining up and getting the ball directly? Uh, <laughs> we have a game plan for that, so definitely <laughs> be ready for that. You know, we're used to saying that we watch film and just used to seeing him motion in and do rocket motions, all that. So you're going to spy him the whole time, you personally? No, not me personally. <laughs> <laughs> you got the speed. You look a lot slimmer this year. You look to be a lot healthier this year. Talk, talk, tell me about the difference between this year and last year. Uh, I'll slim down, but I'm still around 3:30. But <laughs> slim 3:30. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's just been uh, watching my diet and change the way I eat, with certain things I eat. So, and then I've been working hard in the weight room. How's it feel to be actually healthy this year versus last year? Oh, it feels great just to be able to know that I can go out there any game and I'm 100% and just give all I got. You're also captain this week. When did you find out that? Out, find that out? I actually found it out through a text message last night. It was weird because I was like, captain of what? I didn't. I wasn't <laughs> sure, but uh, I was like, I appreciate it. It was a great honor uh, from the coaches to give me that title. Who's the craziest guy in the locker room pre-game? Like, is someone screaming at everyone and just going nuts? Oh man. Mm -hmm. Coach Rocker. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably like the actual hype guy of the team. Uh, he, he messes with you, you know what I'm saying? He gets you ready, pump for the game, and keeps you focused on uh, the task at hand. Have you had to uh, pick any lettuce for him, uh, pull any leaves for him? Uh, I haven't had to get a, another leaf until like since the first time he got here. After that, I've been good. I learned my lesson. <laughs> That's a long way to go. <laughs> so, you realize games like this can kind of dictate down the road standings wise if you don't take care of your business now later on in the season the loss last year kind of came back to bite you do you look at that now and say these games right now are important and they could play a factor in getting yeah. to Atlanta yeah I definitely I feel like you can't actually you can't take a loss in the SEC because if you take a loss you're at risk of like at least like being third place <laughs> which is crazy but the league we play in we want to be every opponent especially SEC opponents does that make the win on Saturday even better, knowing, okay, we started at 1-0? Yeah, it does. Uh, it was a great feeling. You know, we just have to live in that moment. Then we move. when Sunday and Monday comes up, we just move on to the next game and game plan. So tell us about this South Carolina-Georgia rivalry. It just seems to seems kind of nasty. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a gruesome battle. You know, words always just exchange between players. You know, guys from Georgia there. So we had some South Carolina guys on our team, so, you know, there's just a lot of verbal things and <laughs> physical things also. Describe the physical parts of it. Physical things, you know, a little pushing here and there. But it's all a part of football, you know. How often does that go on that we don't see it? Probably every play, <laughs> especially in the trenches. I know we, we talk a lot of stuff and, you know, we do a little shove here and there, but after the game we shake hands and we're going to go home. <laughs> and the loser just, you know. <laughs> How excited are you to not have to listen to Sandstorm this year and get to have it at home? Excuse me? How excited are you to have this game at home and not have to listen to Sandstorm? Oh, that's a, that's a great feeling. Uh, just playing in front of the home crowd, you know, in Athens, between the hedges, because, you know, our fans are the best. Like, they showed up last week against Vandy. I feel like we had more fans than they did, and that just shows their support, and it just makes us play better as a whole.